Okay, good afternoon. How are you? Fine. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Fine. Fine. Miguel Angel, what did you do during the weekend? Uh, I was with my friends. Uh, I, I, I was with Asuna. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got one. Okay. All right. Ivan, what did you do during the weekend? I meet with my friends. Okay. And I know, what did you do during the weekend? Uh, on Saturday, I went uh, with, my, um, with my husband mm -hmm. uh, to a party. And uh, on Sunday, I celebrate my husband's uh, birthday mm -hmm. uh, with my family. Okay. Did you have a good time? Yes. Yes. And even what, uh, Miguel Angel, what was the result uh, in the match with Osasuna? Draw. It was a draw? Like always. Like always? Okay. <laughs> And Ivan, did you have fun with your friends? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to do uh, real quickly an anagrams game. You know what the anagrams are? Anagrams is a game in which you write a word in which the word, the letters are mixed up and you have to guess which word it is, okay? So for example, imagine, and we're going to do adjectives, okay? So imagine, wait, just a second. So we're going to do adjectives. So imagine, for example, that I write what would this adjective be? Nice. Nice. Okay, so this would be nice. Okay, so that's the game, okay? So the, the letters are mixed up and you have to guess which word it is. And we're going to, uh, we're going to begin with adjectives. The next one would be Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So a, po a point for Miguel Angel, huge. Uh, okay, the next one would be, that was the next one's a bit more complicated. Friendly. 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 Almost, I know, almost. Okay, so... I'm friendly. Uh, friendly, sorry. Another point for Ivan. Let's see. I, uh, another point for Miguel Angel. Sorry, uh, Ivan and I know. Let's see if you can try to 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 guess this one. Amazing. <laughs> uh, did you see magazine? Oh, no. <laughs> That's a noun. Okay. Amazing. Okay, very good. You are quick. You're very quick. Grumpy. Yes, grumpy. You know what's me? Grumpy. 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 Grumpy, okay? A person who's grumpy is a person who is always, like, uh, complaining about everything. He's not... Okay, and now we're going to do the same game, but with verbs, okay? So now the word that you have to guess is a verb, all right? So we would have... Wash, 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 yes I know, yes. to wash, like to wash your hands for example, yes. and the last one, okay, no, think, think, okay I know, all right, and now the next activity we are going to do is again our, um, our memory game, okay, in which I, I'm going to say a sentence, yes. Ivan has to say a, what I said, plus a sentence, Ivan has to say, and so on, okay? So, um, today, today I have been uh, listening to music. Today I have been listening to music. Uh, Ivan. 
today at the Mission to Music and I woke up at 8 o'clock. And he woke up at 8 o'clock. Okay, so we're using two different verb tenses, okay? I have been uh, listening to music. He has been... Um, he, he woke up at 8 o'clock. Woke up. I think, no. You have been doing your homework. Okay. Uh, Ivan uh, has been listening to music. Uh, Miguel Angel woke up at seven o'clock. Uh, Ivan um, has been doing uh, homework, and uh, I have been uh, watching TV. You have been watching TV. Okay, so I have been uh, listening to music. You ha uh, you woke up at seven o'clock or eight o'clock. Ivan has been listening. Uh, no, Ivan has been doing his homework, and you have been watching uh, uh, watching the TV. Thank you. <laughs> and another round, okay? And I have been, uh, I have been uh, walking my dog. So we have to start from the beginning, okay? Ivan has been listening to music. Has been listening to music. I woke up at eight o'clock. Ivan has been doing his homework. I know has been working. Has been watching TV. Ivan uh, has been walking through the street. And Almost walking the dog. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was uh, I was with my grandfather. And you were with your grandfather. Okay, Ivan, more complicated now. <laughs> Ivan has been listening to music. Miguel Angel woke up at eight o'clock. I have been doing my homework. I know has been watching the TV. Ivan uh, has been walking the dog. Uh, Miguel Angel has been. Ah, uh, no, he was with, with her father. And I has been doing sports. Okay. Uh, Ivan uh, has been uh, listening to music. Uh, Miguel Angel woke up at 18 o'clock. Uh, Ivan has been. Okay, good memory, very good memory. I'm not going to do this because I'm going to fail. I'm, I, my, my memory is terrible, okay? Okay, so good job, okay? Very good memory. Okay, what are we going to do now? What we are going to do now is we're going to focus on a verb tense, which is the future. I'm going to write a little more over here. The future... future perfect. Can any of you think of the structure of this verb tense? Well, plus. Exactly. So, will. Plus. Although there's another one, we can use either will or shall. Okay, but it's more common to use will. Will, shall, plus. And have. Exactly, have. Plus the past participle. Very good. Plus the past participle. Okay. And can any of you think of a sentence using this structure? Okay. I will have eaten pizza. When will you have eaten pizza? Uh, in Menorca, uh, for example. Oops. But, I mean, like, uh, at what time? In which time of the year? Uh, in the past. In the so past? I uh, uh. will is in the future. Uh -huh, exactly. But, um, I will have eaten uh, the pizza mm -hmm. uh, in summer. 
y Menorca. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you think of another example, Miguel Ángel? Uh, I will have uh, climb uh, Everest. Okay, but we're forgetting an important element here. We need to have something else, okay? When are we going to use the future perfect? I will explain. Basically, uh, to describe... To describe something that... To describe something that will be completed, that will be finished, before before a definite time in the future. Let's think, what would be a definite time in the future? Exactly. A definite time could be, for example, tomorrow at 2 p.m., at 2 o'clock. That's a definite time. So, before 2 p.m., the action will already be completed. So, tomorrow at 2, I will have yes. see, I will, ha I will have been with my family. Yes. Next summer, next summer, uh, in August, I will have been in Menorca. Yes. Okay. The action will have yes. mm -hmm. will be completed. Okay. That's the idea. Okay. Yes. And then we would have another future we would have another future, which would be the future continuous. <laughs> we would have the future continuous. Which would be the structure? Will. Will. Plus B. Very good. So we would have will or shall even though will is more common, plus B, very good, plus the verb in ing, very good, plus the verb in ing. When do we use this structure? Uh, in summer, uh, I will be eating pizza in Italy. Very good. So what we are doing is we are saying, we are talking about an, an action which will be in progress, an action which will be in progress at the definite time in the future. Okay, so this is for an action. So we have an action that will be in progress at a definite time in future. For example, tomorrow at 2 p.m., what will happen at 2 p.m.? That I will be eating a pizza. It, it's not, a, a, it's not a, an action that has happened already, an action that's completed. No, it's still in progress. Okay. Ivan, can you think of another example of a future continuous sentence? In June, you will be doing your exams. Okay? So these are basically the two verb tenses that I would like to focus on now. And it's important to distinguish one from the other. So, what are we going to do?
we're going to do now an, acti an exercise in which we have to decide if we need a future perfect or future continuous tense, okay? And we have to write either one or the other in the correct way. So, for example, imagine we have, um, let's see. This time tomorrow, So imagine we have this time tomorrow we so if we uh, do we need the future perfect or future continuous Miguel Angel do you agree no. why Exactly. I was just challenging Miguel Ángel to see if he was completely sure. Exactly. It's future continuous. Yeah. Yes. So I say, we will, I know. Uh, will uh, be getting on. Exactly. Train. Will uh, we be getting get, get, get on. Get on. Getting on the plane. And we? And we won't have thought. And we won't have thought. I'm afraid not. Bueno, eh, it's better eh, present is to um, future continuous. Future continuous. Yes. Eh, we'll be. Eh, no, we won't be mm -hmm. eh, thinking about. Exactly. Okay. And we won't be thinking. Okay. This is number one. Okay. I'm going to give each of you a photocopy over here. Um, there you go, and Ivan, okay? Now, if you have any, you can talk among you, if you have any questions or doubts, you can help each other, okay? You can help each other.
How are we doing over here? Okay. Okay, very good. So let's see what we're doing. Uh, let's go with number two. Miguel Angel, please. Do you think you will be still working here in 10 years' time? Do you think you will still be working here in 10, in ten years' time? Very good. And Ivan, what, what is your answer? In letter B. I hope I will have been promoted. Very good. Okay, I know. Number three, please. Uh, why are you working so fast? If we don't hurry, by the time we get to the station, the train will have left. Very good. The train will have left. Future perfect. Great. Miguel Angel, please. Number four. Oh no, my car won't start and I need to pick up a friend at the airport. Mm -hmm. You can borrow mine. I won't be using it today. Very good. I won't be using it today, or I will not be using it today. Okay, very good. Um, Ivan, please. Do you think it's too late to find Hillary? No, it's only uh, 11 o'clock. Knowing her, she won't have gone to bed yet. Very good. She won't have gone to bed, to bed yet? Uh, she will be still watching TV. She will still be watching TV. Very good. Um, I know, please, number six. Graduated. Very good. He will have graduated. And he will be looking for a job. Very good. And he will be looking for a job. It's an action in progress. Okay. Uh, Miguel Angel, number seven, please. Should I make some soup or something for your parents when they arrive? Good idea. They will be starving as they will not have had time for lunch. Very good. As they will not or as they won't have had time for lunch. Very good. Ivan, please. Does everybody agree? Okay. Will you have came? Will you be coming? Now, careful because this this uh, doesn't work in Spanish. Okay, in Spanish we cannot use this verb tense. But here, will you be coming with us? Because it's an action in progress. Okay, not a completed act, not a finished action, but an action in progress. Sorry, I left you, but I still have lots of work to do. I know, please. Will you be picking me up? Perfect, exactly. Me. Exactly. Very good. Will you be picking me up from the airport? Of course, I always do. Miguel Angel, please. Mark and Paul are traveling around Asia. They have already been to China and Thailand. Well, how many countries will they have visit? visited? Visited. There you go. They get back home. How many countries will they have visited by the time they get back home? Eleven, even. Mm -hmm. Yes, but just think we will have finished by them by on my Friday. Exactly. We will have finished them all by Friday. We will be celebrating. We will be celebrating. Okay, very good. And the next one, I know, please. Uh, Ken is going to South Africa next month, isn't he? Uh, no, he's decided to wait uh, until July. Mm -hmm. uh, he won't have saved uh, enough money until then. Very good. He won't have saved enough money until then. Okay, good job. <clears throat> and now, we're going to uh, complete some conversations. Basically, we're going to do the same thing we have just done, okay? So we'll complete the conversation, um, different conversations between different people, okay? And then we will do a speaking activity. <clears throat>
Okay, so let's see. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you start, please? So, uh, Sara says, I wish I could find another job. What do you think you'll be doing this time next year? Lisa. Unfortunately, I think I will be still working here. But I hope I will have been promoted to assistant manager by then. So at least I will be earning a bit more money. Very good. Okay, very good. So I'll still be working. I have been promoted and I will be earning I will be earning a bit more money. Okay. And Miguel Angel, please. Sara. Uh, I mean Ivan, please. Sara. Well, I really think that I will have some, some more interesting job. Exactly. I will have found a more interesting job. Very good. Uh, let's go with number two. Uh, I know Dave, please. Uh, if uh, Jimmy finds the sports in his mates, uh, he will be Beating a golden record of 24 matches 
No, he, which verb tense do we need here? Future continuous or future perfect? Future perfect. He will have beaten. It's an action that will be completed, I know, in a time in the future, in, a, in a, a definite time in the future. The action will be completed already, not in progress. Okay? Um, okay, Miguel Angel, please. No, he will have equaled it. He will have equaled it. To beat it, he will need to score another one. But he will not be playing next week because he's already got two yellow cards. He will not or he won't be playing next week. Okay, very good. Let's go with number three. Ivan, please. Just imagine, uh, they say tomorrow we won't have watched uh, the game. The game. Uh, we will play in on a game. So, like, this time tomorrow we... Won't have watched. No, it's an action in progress. Okay. And future continuous. We won't be watching, right? We will be lying on a tropical beach. Okay, I know a place. Well, how do you write like this? With L, I, E, I? No, L, Y, L, Y, I, N, G. L, Y, I, N, G. Okay, I know a place. Uh, no, no. Uh, at first, uh, we won't. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget the same difference. Uh, we won't have arrived at our hotel yet. Very good. We won't have arrived at our hotel yet. Have Very good. The plane, mm -hmm. And uh, we will be driving to our hotel. Very good. And we will be driving to our hotel. Very good. And Miguel Angel, number four, please. Nigel. Uh, is it too late to call Anna and Sam? Do you think they will have gone to bed yet? Very good. And Anna, Ivan? Uh, well, same. 11. That's fine. No weekend. They won't have finished their video Very good. Very good. They will be watching a, f a film. And finally, I know a police. Joe. Uh, can I borrow the car this afternoon? Mother. Uh, what time do you need it? I will have used it uh, myself until about uh, 4 o'clock. No, because it's an action in progress. It's an action in progress, not a finished pro uh, not a be. I will be using, exactly, future continuous. Uh, Miguel Angel. Joe. Natalie will have arrived at the bus station around 5. I want to pick her up. Very good. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait a second. We'll have arrived. Yes. Do you think it's a completed action? We'll be arriving. We'll be arriving. Uh, yeah. So it's future continuous. And finally, uh, I know the last one, please, mother. Okay, yes. Uh, oh, that's fine. I will have finished. With it by then. I will have finished it. I, I will have finished with it by then. Very good. Okay, and what are we going to do now? What are, we, what we are going to do now is a speaking activity in which I'm going to give you some papers over here. Take a look at the different uh, pictures that we have. Okay, we have um, this activity is called In 20 Years Time. What's going to be happening? What will be happening in 20 years' time? Or what will have happened in 20 years' time? We have different situations. Let's read the different situations we have here. Can you read the first one, please, Ainoa? The first picture over here. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, in 20 years' time, mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, be paying much more for water than for electricity. Okay, so we will be paying much more for water than for electricity. Or, for example, we have another situation. What does it say? Uh, can you read this one over here, Miguel Angel, please? This one over here. Well, or the second one. Can you read the second one, please? We will be living in a cashless society and we will pay for everything with credit cards or with a credit chip implanted under our skin. Okay, so what we are going to do it's, we're going to talk about what we think will be happening in 20 years' time. So that's, if now it's 2016, so in 2000, 
36, okay? Or, or what will have happened, either future uh, continuous or future perfect. And you, the, the idea is for you to have a conversation, to have a discussion conversation using future continuous or future perfect to talk about what you think, which of these things you think will be happening or will have happened, okay? So I, I'm going to begin the conversation, okay? Well, in my opinion, in 20 years' time, in 20 years' time, uh, we will be paying much more for water than for electricity. Okay. And you can ask me why. You can ask me why I think so. Why? Well, because I think, because I think that water is starting to be not very abundant. So it's going to be a, uh, maybe not a very, uh, it's going to be a very demanded resource in the future. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go on, please. Uh, most people will be living until they are uh, 90 or longer. Okay, why? Uh, because uh, nowadays uh, people um, practice a uh, lot of uh, sport mm -hmm. and it's very important uh, for their health. Okay, okay. I think Good, good. I mean, I, I don't think that some countries will have disappeared because of flooding. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? No. Okay. Some more ideas. Um, in 20 years' time, everybody will be traveling far less by train and car in order to reduce uh, CO2 emissions. Okay. R interesting. Okay, more ideas. Okay, okay. I don't think so that the idea of retirement dates will have disappeared. People will not be able to work for as long as they want. Why? Because uh, every uh, because for for the. Economic, we need that the the youngest uh, the youngest people uh, occupy the the places of the the old the old ones. Okay. In twenty years time, mm -hmm. uh, shops will have disappeared, and all shopping will be done on the internet. You think so? Okay. Yes. yes. I don't think that everyone. <coughs> And also, I don't think so that women's football will have become nearly as popular as men's football. Why not, Miguel Angel? I don't know, I don't see it. I think, I, I would like that that women's football will have the same, the same, uh, the same conditions, but I don't think that women's football will be, will have become as popular as men's football. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, Ainoa? Yes. Okay. Okay. Other ideas? Other ideas. Uh, in 20 years' time, uh, I don't think some countries will have disappeared uh, because of flood. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, and finally, the last thing I would like us to talk about, if you take this photocopy that I gave you before, Grammar 4A, do you still have the photocopy? Grammar 4A... Yes, there you go. 
we have a little we're going to practice this we're going to do this exercise over here I would like you to write in a piece of paper one thing so we're here okay one thing that you will be doing at midday tomorrow I would like you to write one thing that you will have done by the end of next week and one thing that you will have done a year from now Do you understand for example uh, I'm going to give you an example um, at the midday tomorrow I will be having lunch by the end of next week I will have read a book and a year from now I will have learned Japanese for example doesn't have to be necessarily true okay Okay, um, let's see, Miguel Angel, what will you be doing at midday tomorrow? At midday tomorrow I will be sleeping the nap. will be sleeping a nap, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Ivan, what will you be doing at midday tomorrow? At midday tomorrow I will be uh, learning in class. You'll be learning in class, and how about you, I know? At midday tomorrow I will be preparing my meal. You will be prepare, preparing your meal. Okay, very good. Now I, I would like you to exchange papers. So Ivan and uh, Miguel Angel, give your paper to uh, to Ivan. Ivan, give your paper to Ainoa. Oh, maybe you don't understand your friend. Right? Oh, okay. So no problem. No problem. <laughs> yes. No problem. Okay. Uh, so something that you will have done by the end of next week, Ainoa. Uh, by the end of next week, I will have uh, done my homework. Okay, Ivan. Mm -hmm. and Miguel Angel? By the, end, by the end of next week, I will have done my first final exam. Oh, okay. So that's an important date, okay. And finally, something that you will have done a year from now, Miguel Angel? By a year from now, I will have finished the first year of my double degree. Okay. How about you, Ivan? A year from now, I will have, uh, have finished my exam. I will have finished my exam. Okay. And I know? Yes, I know. I will have learned Italy a lot. Really? Oh, you, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Before I said I will have learned Japanese or Korean or whatever. Okay. Okay. So now let me check because I think it's time. Let me see. Okay. Perfect. So thank you very much. I'm Ivan. This has been lesson five. And... Wait a second. <laughs>